Look what we can do when we work together. There is just no limit. That's Palm Coast Mayor David Alfin praising the community for coming together to feed the hungry in Flagler County. Flagler Broadcasting's Million Dollar Foodathon raised $125,000 Friday for the Grace Community Food Pantry in Bunnell. All thanks to you, our generous listeners, businesses, and stakeholders in the community. Flagler County Medical Director Dr. Stephen Bickle says the Million Dollar Foodathon came at exactly the right moment. We're talking food inflation around the world and some major crises here. It's a perfect opportunity for us to band together. We're extremely fortunate to have this facility that Castor Solano has created, the, the food pantry. They have the infrastructure. They can do this. Lots of places don't. It just seemed perfect. I mean, the idea that you can leverage the food, we already have the setup to do it. And this summer, is going to be a lot of people who need it. Pastor Charles Solano, who runs the Grace Community Food Pantry, can turn that cash into $625,000 worth of food. He was blown away by the community's generosity. I am moved beyond measure. It's just so elated that we live in a community like this, and it's going to take time to sink in. But I wanted to thank everybody here. I mean, you gave up your day to be here. Pretty amazing. So God bless you all. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. An Islamorada man is critically hurt in a crash on I-95 in Flagler County. It happened late Saturday night. Police say the man was a passenger in an SUV that was rear-ended by another SUV driven by a 44-year-old Georgia man who police said was tired behind the wheel. The Florida Highway Patrol says after it was hit, the vehicle containing the victim crossed the middle and outside lanes of the highway and struck multiple trees before coming to a stop on the shoulder. The Islamorada man had to be extricated and was taken to Halifax Health Medical Center, where he was placed in critical but stable condition. The crash also injured five children and a woman. The FHP cited the Georgia man who wasn't hurt for failing to control his speed. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. Palm Coast is among the top five in a national water conservation challenge. The city of Palm Coast was named one of five national winners in the 11th annual Weiland National Mayor's Challenge for Water Conservation by pledging to reduce water use by 51.5 million gallons of water over the next year. Brittany Kershaw, Communications and Marketing Manager for Palm Coast, explains what that means. So the incredible community of Palm Coast pledged to reduce plastic water bottle usage by nearly 120,000 bottles. They pledged to eliminate 3,100 pounds of hazardous waste from entering the watersheds and over 1.3 million pounds of waste in the landfills. Residents from Palm Coast who took the pledge will now be entered into a drawing for thousands of dollars in water-saving or eco-friendly prizes, including $3,000 toward their annual home utility bill. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. A Smithsonian traveling exhibit opened this past weekend in Flagler County. Sybil Dobson is curatorial director at the African American Cultural Society of Palm Coast. She describes the display that's coming to the society. We're delighted to be designated as a museum on Main Street and bringing this first representation from the Smithsonian called Water Ways. Dobson says the exhibit shows that water is the center of all cultures. We're more keenly aware of it sometimes here in Florida because we are right here blessed with this beautiful ocean right at our footsteps or outside our door. But we'll also bring to your attention that water has part of been part of the spiritual practices of many cultures, including the African culture. Also, Native Americans use water in their spiritual practices. And our Jewish brothers and sisters use water, as do our Christian brothers and sisters, when we think of baptism. The exhibit is open through the end of September. Visit aacsmuseum.org for details. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. It's a simple question. What's the name of what will be Flagler County's newest hospital? Edwin Health, Palm Coast. Parkway. Advent Health Palm Coast Chief Operating Officer Wally Dacchino said the community voted on the name from a selection of about six. He said that since there's already an Advent Hospital, this would lessen the confusion. Dacchino said when the new hospital opens in the spring of 23, it'll already have a nickname. So nobody's going to call it Advent Health Palm Coast Parkway, but even right now we already call it the Parkway Hospital. 
Rick Aquino said this lets residents know the name and the location of the new hospital when it opens. Flagler Health Matters is on WNZF on Saturday mornings at 1130 and anytime on the Flagler radio app. Tomorrow, Wally D'Aquino says they'll offer much the same at the Parkway Hospital as they do at their other facilities. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.